What's going on guys, it's Happy here and in today's quick tip video I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily install a jump throw bind and a quick switch bind for CSGO. So uh, let's hop right into it. Let me switch on over um, screens and let's get it going. So what you're going to want to do first is open up a new text um, uh, notepad. Uh, so you, you know, right click on your desktop uh, and you just do new and text document. Uh, in that text document, you just need to copy and paste what I have down below in the description. Uh, and you're going to see that there's two commands. There's one for jump throw and there's one for your quick switch. Now, the only thing you're going to need to change out of these documents is the keys you want to act as, you know, as your quick switch and your jump throw. So for your jump throw, I have mine set to N. So that's why right here is N. If you want to change it to any key you'd like, just delete that and click whatever key that is you want. Uh, same goes for your quick switch. Uh, mine is set to Q, but again, you can just delete the Q and change it to whatever uh, button you'd like. So, after that's done, uh, next we're gonna have to save it into the game files. And now this is kind of the tricky part uh, out of the entire thing, because if you get something wrong here, it's probably not gonna work, and you have to go back and redo everything, and it's a whole nightmare. So, just watch carefully. It's pretty easy if you watch. What you wanna do is you're gonna click File, save as now i'm gonna let me just go back to the very very beginning so i can show you where exactly the file is going to go so you want to go to your local disk wherever your program files x86 are so you're going to click that folder you're going to go down till you find steam uh there it is steam double click it and then you're going to go down till you find steam apps and right here steam apps double click it you're going to go into common you're gonna go into Counter-Strike Global Offensive, click CSGO, you're gonna click CFG. Now, before you touch anything, watch carefully. What you're gonna to wanna to do is change the save as type file from text document to all files. Then go up to file name, mine's already pre-saved, but uh, I'm just gonna show you, save it as auto exec dot CFG. You have to physically type in dot CFG, otherwise it's not gonna work. So you're gonna save it there, I'm not gonna save it because I already have it saved, uh, but click save and you should be good to go. And as soon as that's done, go ahead and launch up Counter-Strike and I will show you in the game what to do next. Okay, so I definitely recommend hopping into an offline uh, map just because if it doesn't work, uh, it's just easier uh, to do it that way. So once you get into a game, uh, it's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you go to your console uh, I can just type clear. So you're going to type in exec, auto exec, and then click enter, and that's it. So basically what you're telling your uh, console to do is run that auto exec file that you just created. And after you do this, you click enter, uh, you should be able to have your quick switch, uh, which for me is Q. So there's a quick switch, and then your jump throw bind, which I don't have a smoke right now, but as you can see, I'm clicking N and I'm jumping because that's that jump throw bind. Uh, so yeah. Pretty, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Um, I know there's a lot of other ways I think you can do it in console, but sometimes when you just do it in console, the console commands, it doesn't always save. This way of doing it with creating a uh, CFG file, uh, it will work every time you boot up the game and you don't have to do anything. Once you do uh, exact auto exact once, that tells the game every time you open the game, run this file, so you're good to go. Uh, anyways guys if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my content I post quick tip videos like this every Wednesday uh, so click subscribe and click that notification tab so you know when these videos come out if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of my content I stream live on twitch very very often so my channel just my ch channel link will be down in the description below uh, so go ahead click that link follow me on twitch so you also get notified when I'm live anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video